Hi everyone and welcome back to XCOM 2 co-op campaign. So, this mission looks interesting, Operation Dawn Giant. And we got Sectoid Prime Puppeteers and Zombie Runners, as well as some Elite Gunslingers. And we will get to rescue one of our lost Psy operatives. And we'll get 100 intel as well. So, here's our squad. We got Natasha, Sharpshooter, Ranger, Shinobi, Grenadier, Gunner and Ranger. All right, let's go then. So here we are. Menace one five, target I already see some zombie runners. I don't remember seeing zombie extraction. runners before. Interesting. All right then. The so extraction. let's scout ahead a little bit, shall we? Yes, let's. I don't really want to jump down without knowing whether it's safe or not. Looks safe-ish, at least so far. Alright. We do have battle scanners, I assume. Yes, we do. Let's, Let's do just this. throw one, shall we? In this general direction. The extraction zone is a little bit far away, actually. So looks like that's the closest group. With a sectoid prime puppeteer. Is there more than one? Maybe. Okay, let's move. Should be safe to dash. Go, go, go! Just not too much. We are mostly not concealed. Okay, been on we'll use Overwatch okay. on at least one guy. And here's Felix. Okay, looks good. So Overwatch, in case something shows up. Probably won't, but we got 16 turns. That's a lot of time to get out of here. Alright, so let's send the concealed person. Who was that again? That was Alpha. We can scout ahead a little bit. And we could actually ambush that group, perhaps. And kill the puppeteer. Wait, is that the same group? I think so. I'm pretty sure it's the same group. So, should we just shoot them right away? Probably not, because then Natasha won't have any cover. Might be better to move into a slightly better position. And maybe get ready with steady weapon. However, now I can't move too close because I will trigger them if I do. There is a chance they will run into us. So let's set up just outside of their range. And see if they find us. So Felix in the corner. And we'll just wait one turn. If they don't patrol into us, we'll just shoot them with Natasha or whatever. Nope. They are still there. Alright, let's just shoot the puppeteer with Natasha. That seems reasonable. 94% on the trooper, 90% on the sectoid. Do we want overwatch on anyone? Probably not, no. I'd like to make sure we'll kill the puppeteer. And there's no guarantee we'll do that with Overwatch. Okay, let's take a shot and see how much damage we'll do. That's the important part. We got 40% chance to crit. So that's pretty decent. Come on. Only 7 damage. I was hoping for a crit, but... At least it wasn't a miss. Because that was certainly a possibility. Now, I don't think a puppeteer is that dangerous, but I would still like to kill it ASAP. So, let's see. It has 9 more health and 2 armor. What's our chance to hit from back here? 64%. And it will be almost a granted kill if we hit. 
We could move a little bit closer and get a better chance to hit. I just don't want to be too close to these guys. So maybe we should take our chances. We could also flank it with someone else. I could flank it with Amal, but I would have to move where Ofa is, meaning move her somewhere else first. Otherwise, one of these guys will flank me. And that's probably not what we want. I'm a little bit torn about this. But it would be nice to keep Ofa concealed. Let's give it a shot. So that's 40% chance to crit. And only 8 damage. Okay, you tried. But it's down to literally one health. Do we have stock on anyone? If not, we can always use walk fire. But does anyone actually have stock in here? No, I don't think so. At least it doesn't look like it. Okay, that's fine. We'll just take a shot with someone. Let's see, 58%. We can try to shoot the trooper and then use walk fire on the sectoid. That seems reasonable. Since we can't use walk fire first without ending our turn. And yeah, that's a kill. So walk fire on the puppeteer and that should be a kill, hopefully. Yep. Easy enough. So then the heavy. I'm not sure if we can kill the heavy on this turn, but we are already doing fine. He does have full cover. Actually, no, he only has partial cover. Maybe we can kill him then. How many more shots do we even have right now? Not that many. And I'd like to stay concealed. Yeah, I don't think we can kill him. Unlikely. Let's not get flanked. We could flashbang him, but that seems like a waste of a flashbang grenade. So now... Alright, let's do some damage at least. Seeing how we can't kill him. He might try to run away. That's definitely a possibility. Yeah, he's running away. This will not kill him, unfortunately. Even if we hit, which apparently we won't. We might be able to catch him. Actually, I think we can shoot him with Natasha. Can we? Yes, we can, but our chance to hit is not exactly amazing. Can we flank him? Yeah, we actually can flank him. Sounds good. By the way, we got 20 more enemies in this mission. That seems like quite a lot. I wonder how many of them are zombies. Or zombie runners. I guess we'll find out. Speaking of zombies... Let's kill this one, shall we? And then we can move on. We still got one more battle scanner. Might be worth using it. But maybe on the next turn. Let's just keep moving. And Felix. Okay, good enough. Here's the next group. Another sectoid Prime Puppeteer. So I guess there will be several Prime Puppeteers in this mission. Okay, fine by me. That's almost the exact same group, by the way. The only difference is that gunslinger. So, no need to use the battle scanner, I suppose. Oh, we could actually blow them up. I'm not sure if that will actually hit the puppeteer. But it's probably worth doing. Or we could try to shoot the puppeteer. 
If we hit, we'll get almost a guaranteed crit. That might be worth trying. I think it's worth trying, actually. I'm pretty sure this explosion won't actually do damage to the puppeteer. Alright, let's try to hit the puppeteer. That's 56%. And we missed. Oh well. You tried. We might still be able to blow them up. It will depend on where exactly they will move. Yeah, we could blow up the heavy. That's a possibility. In fact, I like that idea. But someone else can do it, not Natasha. Let's see. Seth can do it. Light him up! Decent. Could have been better. Now. What's our chance to hit? 56% on the gunslinger. Yeah, a little bit low. Let's shoot the gunslinger. Decent. It's a shame we don't have at least stock on one person. Even the most basic stock would though. But unfortunately we don't have one. Let's try to kill the heavy, shall we? I'll kill them both and we'll deal with the puppeteer on the next turn. That's the plan right now. Because these two are easier to kill. And I don't think the puppeteer is that dangerous, although I'm not 100% sure just how dangerous it is. Right, so kill the heavy first. And then the gunslinger, if we can. And he's down. So, can we finish off the gunslinger? Good question. We only have one more shot. Actually, and that's it. If Eva misses, we won't be able to kill that guy. Only 36% chance, though. It's not worth wasting a grenade on this, so let's just shoot him. Nope. Yeah, he might use face off now, which would be fairly annoying. But I tried. I guess we'll find out. Incoming zombies, I guess. And it didn't move either. So it still has full cover. Oh, more zombies. Okay. Fair enough. I can't even see them. Oh, right here. And the gunslinger. Yeah, it will use face off. I'm pretty sure about that. Okay, fine. Yeah, it's using face off. Annoying. At least it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. But it's still irritating. So, the puppeteer. We can't flank it, I don't think so. No, we can't. I suppose I could freeze it, but that seems a bit excessive. We'll just have to take our chances. Ready to rock. Maybe we should kill that puppet. In case we fail to kill the puppeteer. Because I'm not sure if we can actually kill the puppeteer. I'm not convinced. Our chance to hit will be pretty bad. We can do some granted damage with clutch shot, but that won't be a whole lot. 70% chance to hit with primary weapon. Maybe. Or maybe we should kill the puppet first. Let's just do that. In case we fail to kill the puppeteer. Good enough. You want some more? And now we can take a shot at the puppeteer. So, 70% chance to hit. Fingers crossed. Maybe it will move after we hit it. Let's find oh, out. And that was kind of terrible damage. Yeah, it will. No, it will not move. It will just summon more zombies. Okay. Oh, right here. 
great. That is fairly annoying, actually. Maybe we should kill that gunslinger. That sounds like a good idea to me. I could flank him, in theory. Let's maybe shotgun the puppet first. It might be best to just leave the puppeteer alive for one more turn. I'm actually strongly considering that. But first, let's kill the gunslinger. Maybe move off a little bit closer. And Eva can kill the gunslinger, hopefully. Only 58%. Oh, that's because her aim is kind of really bad. Well, let's take that shot regardless. Yep, it's a miss. That's not great. You know what? Let's just throw a grenade. It's not the best use of a grenade of all times. But I'm not leaving that guy alive for another turn. Now, how do we deal with the puppeteer? I'm thinking we should leave it alive for one more turn. Maybe Overwatch? We still got 11 turns. I'm not too worried about running out of time. We aren't that far away from Extraction Zone. And I don't want to be too aggressive because we still got 16 enemies. Yeah, let's play it safe. So Overwatch. Yeah, it's going to summon more zombies. That's what they do, I assume. Unless we flashbang it, then it will probably use its primary weapon. We should be able to kill it now. Wait, what? We didn't do anything, but that's actually convenient because this one is closer than the previous one. That was interesting. <laughs> I don't know what happened here and why the building is on fire, but hey, I don't mind. We won't have to deal with that puppeteer. So, speaking of puppeteers, we can actually flank it now. So, how about we do that? And we can use chain shot. What's our chance to hit with chain shot? 84%. I don't know. It's pretty much a granted hit without chain shot. So chain shot is a bit of a risk if we miss the first one. But if we hit the first one, we should kill the puppeteer. Let's try and chain shot. I hope I won't regret that. Yep, it's a hit. So unless the second shot misses, it will be a kill. Come on, one more. Nice, it's down. I assume that will kill the zombies. Or maybe not. Right, because these are puppets, not zombies. Doesn't matter, I suppose. We'll kill them. And we are actually almost done with this. Because the extraction zone moved. That was very strange. Yeah, Eva's aim is just terrible, holy crap. She's the lowest aim person in the squad. And has to be one of the lowest aim soldiers on our roster. Because that's just terrible. There, he's dead. Alright, let's move on. We still got 10 more turns. Plenty of time. And we can throw a battle scanner to see if there's anything going on here. Doesn't look like it. Seems safe. Just a civilian. Okay then. Overwatch. I'm glad we're getting Felix back. Oh, here comes another puppeteer. Looks like we'll have to deal with that one too. Or we can just run away, I suppose. We could probably extract on the next turn, as in the one after this. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure we could. But we could also kill them. Can we kill them reliably? Well, maybe. We could flashbang them all. That would be a good way to open. I think. Okay, let's flashbang them all then. That will prevent the puppeteer from summoning zombies. Or at least it should. Oh, it will also shred it. Okay. Oh yeah, it will get an action after it's disoriented. Alright. Fine. So what's our chance to hit? Not amazing. How should we do this exactly? Good question. Maybe we should just, you know, evac on the next turn. Good to go. I'm strongly leaning towards just doing that. The only thing is that I'm not entirely convinced that we can Target. evac with everyone. I think we can. Move, move, move. I'm pretty sure we can, but we might be like one tile too far away with a soldier or two. Alright, let's just get out of here on the next turn. Seems reasonable. There are still 15 enemies remaining, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> So the only way they can prevent us from escaping is if one of our soldiers panics or something like that. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Alright, let's make sure everyone can get out. I'm pretty sure they can, but I'm just going to verify. Yeah, everyone is close enough. So let's just get out of here. There's no need to fight and kill everything when we don't have to. So this will give us 100 intel and Felix. So now we have more than enough intel to grab every possible power-up for the Network Tower mission once we're ready to start that. And we're out. Good job, people. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. So, any promotions? We had some low rank people in here. Yeah, we got one. Let's have a look. Hail of Bullets. Yep. Although, I do also like tactical sense, but Hail of Bullets is just so good. Alright then. So, Felix is back. Very nice. What were his abilities again? Let's have a look. Where is he exactly? Right here. He had Sustain, Solace, Stasis Shield, Soul Fired, Stasis itself, and Inspire. Alright. And how much notoriety does he have? 72 days! Okay, I don't think he will be super useful in this campaign anymore. But hey, who knows? Anyway, we got a supply drop available. Let's go and grab it, shall we? Avenger plotting new course. And we are getting very, very close to the final mission. We just need to finish some Shadow Chamber research. Six days, five days. And we got Bastion on Jolly. Alright, Mind Merge fuels Domination. Yeah, that's an obvious choice, Domination. And we'll probably wait for Domination to finish. 13 days is not that much. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar How cute. Project. They are working on Avatar Project. Down, we'll need to move fast. No, we don't. We don't have to move fast. So... What should we do next? Amusement Center? Oh, there's some intel over here. 
Not that we really need more intel. We got 327 intel. <laughs> but we might as well grab it. We don't exactly need reduced contact cost either. We don't have to make contact with any more regions. So one day on Sonic Gate... There's literally nothing else left. Let's check the black market and then maybe we'll go to the amusement center or whatever. We'll check if there are any soldiers available at the black market. Or anything else we might want to spend intel on. Let's have a look. Oh yes, we got some loot. And I guess that's that. Unless we want one of the mods. Wait, hold on, we do have a rogue. Yeah, sure, let's grab him. That still leaves us with 220 or 246 intel. Sounds good to me. And rogues are quite nice, especially when they have the final ability. What was it called? Reposition. So, Max. Field Surgeon. That's a bit of a strange hidden ability for a rogue. But, alright. So, Ghost Pack. Recon, Gun and Run. I don't use Recon much, but it's not a bad ability. Especially against big targets. Let's grab a Recon. Why the heck not? Flash. Shadowborn. Well, Shadowborn is not bad. Yeah, Shadowborn. Then... Scouting report. I think that's what it was. Yes, restores action points. That's my preference. And then reposition, because reposition is just so good. The other two choices are still pretty damn good, but I just like reposition a lot. Okay, and loot. Well, first we have to finish the Sonic gate. So let's maybe do that. Avenger plotting new course. And then we'll check the loot. So there's the Sonic gate. We are now prepared to autopsy the body of the power. And now we can autopsy the avatar. I feel this creature. Hold on, right. I shouldn't have started that without opening the logbox first. Then again, it doesn't really matter. We would have to wait for both one way or the other. And I don't think we could have opened it instantly. Doesn't matter, we'll open it after the autopsy. And we got a plasma blaster. Not super useful, but alright. Probably not worth starting any more projects at the Proving Grounds. New facilities. I don't think we'll bother raiding that one, there's no need. We are literally almost done with this campaign. We could still make contact, and it would only cost 40 intel. I mean, I guess we can do that? Can we make contact with one region and get a continent bonus that we don't have? North America, what's that? Is that actually useful? More supplies. Yeah, we don't exactly need those. You know what, let's just go to the HQ. After playing Long War 2 for a while, this movement is so slow. And we got Inspire. Right, hold on, maybe we should train Felix a little bit more instead. Who has more Sonic abilities at this point? Oh, it's going to be Clara, right? Yeah, oh, she has Domination and Void Rift, right. Okay, that's fair. What else can we get? Sustain, Soul Steel, Mind Merge. 
And let's grab sustain. Just in case. And we got girl ops. Alien Cypher, that's annoying. What does that increase intel costs on the final mission? As in, on the network tower. I'm not actually sure. Major breakthrough and a sharpshooter. This is an interesting choice. Yeah, I don't know if Alien Cypher would actually increase intel costs on the advent network tower power-ups. Then again, we got 251 intel. Even if it does, I'm pretty sure we have enough. Do we actually need a sharpshooter? We probably don't, but we could go for a different build. We only got one cannon sharpshooter, right? Yeah, only one. So it might not be a bad idea to grab him. We could go for a completely different build on him. What are the enemies? Codex, Mutant Captain, Berserker, Elite Officer, Sectoid Prime Soldier. I don't see anything overly dangerous. How many supplies do we have? A lot. So let's grab the sharpshooter, why not? Alright, fine. Asia. Alien Cypher shouldn't really make a difference at this point. I'm pretty sure 251 intel will be enough for the network tower mission. Even if the Cypher affects it, which I don't know if it does. Anyway, the squad, let's have a look. We should probably grab Daniel. And we can test the new weapon, the buzz saw. That's what she's going to use. But first, let's rename her existing rifle to unassigned. And switch it out for the bus saw. And we'll rename the bus saw itself. Alright, looks good. We could actually swap some of these mods. Like the autoloader for a better autoloader. I guess it would be worth it. I'd say so, yeah. Sure, let's do that. Sounds good to me. This weapon is so ridiculous. Looking forward to seeing it in action. Anyway, that's Daniel. Who else is coming? Let's see, was her notoriety again? Only 4 days, right? No, 34 days. Right, okay. Oh yeah, Soren had 4 days, so let's grab Soren then. And who else? Gordon? Sure, although Shinobi and Assault? That's a bit of a weird setup, maybe. Well, fine, Gordon. A grenadier definitely won't hurt. Ranger. And maybe a gunner. So that we can shred. Who would that be? Amal, seven days. Do we really have any other candidates? I suppose we have Bob. But, notoriety. We can keep it below 10 if we bring Amal. So, how about we do that? There. That seems pretty good to me. Utility items. Let's see. First of all, Daniel. Skulljack and Medkit, as always. So, there you go. And what else? Who is going to use the Mimic Beacons? First of all, Frost Bombs. 
And I see the bomb. And probably blow screen, I guess. Should we give blow screen? Wait, no, we can't give blow screen to Daniel. It would be even more ridiculous with blow screen. <laughs> but it's already more than overpowered enough. Right, Soren. Who is going to use the Mimic Beacons? Let's see. Probably Quincy. He can take a shot and then throw a Mimic Beacon. We also want a flashbang grenade on someone. So how about Quincy? Okay, sounds good. Soren. We need some battle scanners. So I guess Soren can grab one. And maybe the Mimic Beacon. Or we can give it to Gordon. Doesn't matter all that much. And some blow screen. Who should use blow screen? Amal can use blow screen, I suppose. Don't need that med kit. Blow screen and plasma grenade. Do we have any PCS we can use? Oh, impact fields. Right, that one isn't that useful, actually. And I think that's that. Unless we want another battle scanner or another flashbang grenade. What's the enemy list again? Mutant Captain, Codex, Berserker... Sectoid Prime Soldier. Let's maybe grab a second flashbang grenade. I have a feeling it will be useful here. And I think that's that. I'll keep some plasma grenades. I don't think we need a lot of blue screen for this one. I only see one mechanical enemy in this mission. But I suppose we could give blue screen to Quincy, then he can take two shots. And maybe give flashbang grenade to Soren. That will leave us with one plasma grenade only. But I have a feeling flashbang grenades will be more useful for this one. Okay, looks good to me. I'm going to pass the save to Chris. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.